Hi friends, it is Mary from Mom Behind the Computer. We thought we would take you along with our day today. Um, we are just getting ready to go for a walk here before breakfast. The weather is supposed to be not quite as hot today, so we're gonna try to get in our walk beforehand uh -huh. with our walk coach. Mm -hmm. Little gal is our walk coach. She guides us through our walk each day that we get to go out and on a walk. Moon. And Moon Pie. Yeah, our little Moon Pie down here. He um, he is our rider. So we're getting ready to strap. He is two months old. He is two months old. And uh, we are going to strap him up and uh, get going on our walk. So, oh, spin up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to strap him up and get it going on our walk so we can get back home and get to our the rest of our day. Hi, everyone. We're still on our walk. And <laughs> we are going the long way around the ball. Right, Mama? Right, Mama? <laughs> yep. So, that's mostly what we're doing with our ball. For now. Bye. made it back from our walk. I'm a little winded, how about you? Good? Yeah, we're good. Um, we went a little bit further than we normally do because it was a pretty nice day out, just a little bit hot. Um, little guy fell asleep in his care seat stroller, so we're trying to let him rest a little bit. I'm um, gonna get this girl some breakfast because we went out before breakfast today, and then um, see if I can fit in any chores before the little guy needs me. So, you ready for some breakfast? Mm-hmm. Oh. So my apologies for the bad lighting and um, the weird angle. I have little guy down here um, who is nursing and uh, hopefully going to be going to sleep soon. We've had kind of a broken day as far as like napping has gone. Um, just some days are just like that. He's one of those if you lay him down at certain times, he just wakes up. And so I'm really hoping he will Go to sleep soon. Uh, so that we don't have a rough afternoon. Um, usually if he he misses too much of a big nap, we'll have a rough like rest of the day. Um, and little girl is in the other in my office in there doing an online class. Okay, this is like attempt a number attempt number three here. Um, so after we went on our walk, we were able to get a few chores done. Um, thankfully, we, the three of us worked out to do that. That doesn't happen often. Um, we uh, were able to play a video game, which was little girl's number one thing she wanted to do today. Um, it, we played Yoshi's, I think it's Yoshi's Crafted Adventure. Um, we call it Let's Go Yoshi around here, but um, that's not the name at all. Um, we played that on the Nintendo Switch. and. Um, like I said, that was little girl's number one thing she wanted to do with me today. She, that's one thing I heard somewhere and I don't know what resource I heard it from, but we've implemented it and it's been really well. So we have a two month old, of course, and that means that mommy is spending a lot of time on a two month old, um, which is very different than the first five years of her life when mommy was just, mommy wasn't always available because sometimes she was working around the house or, or doing some work, um, you know, to play actively with her. But mommy was always sort of available as the only child that I need to take care of. She's been doing very well with the transition and um, caring about her brother and, you know, even sort of putting him first, which I've been very impressed of with. But um, one thing I heard was try to make sure you fit in like their priority for the day and ask them what that is <laughs> rather than assume. So um, that's one thing I have been doing is um, every day I try to ask her 
what her one priority is to do with me for the day. And um, I try to, as soon as I have a free time, a free moment, um, I hope you all can't hear class in there. Um, as soon as I have a free moment, I try to make sure we get that priority done. So um, today was a video game. We were able to go ahead and do that. And it's not something that like I really like just try to do, check off the list. Um, but I do like when we can get it done early in the day. So um, if the rest of the day goes to pot, it goes to pot and we don't have to worry about it. Um, her not feeling loved or valued or something like that. We also had lunch. Um, she had a Lunchable because we are... We are still surviving in a lot of ways around here, and meal prep is just not always going well, so um, we're doing what we can here. And I had some frozen noodle thing that I heated up. Um, and uh, now we're down working on her class. So um, earlier in the spring, I guess, summer, I don't know, I can't remember when. Um, a friend told me about Varsity Tutors was having free online classes, um, I guess to promote their information, you know, add you to the mailing list, that sort of thing. And so um, I picked one class for her and I let her pick one class and uh, she picked this one that she's taking now, which is called um, Travel the World with Google Earth. And I wasn't sure she's, I mean, she is just learning to read, like three letter words. Um, and all of that and so I wasn't sure if it was really gonna be a great class for her but it was in her age range and um, she wanted to do it so um, I told her sure she could pick that one I picked a pre-reading class that we're gonna be doing later in the summer and this um, I want to do some out school classes too but I wanted to go ahead and um, it just worked out that this one was first so I was like we'll try this online course and see how it does for you and Thankfully, she has loved it. So it has been um, really awesome. I've heard some mixed reviews about the the classes that went on this summer. Um, some of them were really overpopulated, I guess, uh, which is bad if you need interaction. But um, this one is more like a lecture guided thing. Um, and uh, so far she's really loved it. And she's taught me quite a bit about Google Earth and a little bit about the world. Um, so what they do is they travel in Google Earth to different continents, different countries, and she teaches them a little bit about that area, which is really cool. And they made a little passport, and um, they're, they've got little passport stamps that they cut out and put in there. And um, it's a really cool class, so I'm so thankful that she likes it. Um, I think, you know, often the first one sort of sets the tone for other things. And so um, I'm so thankful that this first one was good, so that way, even if another one isn't in the future, which is always a chance, um, she can look back and know that she really enjoyed this one um, and others may be good again so she actually does that for an hour each day which again I'm shocked that an hour keeps her attention that's great um, and it's just gonna be for this week so we're gonna go ahead and do that this week um, and then next week is gonna be a busy week so I'm hoping to maybe try to fit in two other classes if I could find some others I'd really really love to find an ongoing class that is limited participants um, her age and where they can kind of get to know each other just a little bit um, so I'm gonna be looking on out school I think for that um, I haven't personally tried out school yet but I have heard great reviews and if you'd like to give it a try um, I do have a referral link where you can get $20 off and that is something that I'm <laughs> taking part in as well so um, of course I get a little bit of a commission back off of my um, fees for her class if you do that but um, the $20 off for you is amazing so I will leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out as well um, the classes look really awesome it's just been sort of like a timing thing for us um, so the timings are great too as far as the classes go I mean a timing for scheduling it for us so um, I'm hoping to do that in July and hopefully maybe get her in at least two more classes and then um, we'll be moving into her kindergarten year we're homeschooling so thankfully the all of that debate about if she should go to school or not in the, the fall is is not laying on us other than for her homeschool class um, which we'll figure out when that time comes but um, we'll be moving on to sort of homeschooling and, and we don't have to for kindergarten and for her age right now but um, 
it's something I want to do to kind of work things through. So we'll be doing that. Um, and so, yeah, I said that next week is going to be a busy week for us. I have to have surgery. Um, and unfortunately, uh, it, it needs to go ahead and happen. I think it could be pushed out a little bit, but um, with, you know, my guy is still little right now. I think he's around 12 pounds and uh, he's only going to get bigger and that's only going to make recovery from a uh, surgery harder. Thankfully, this is going to be gallbladder surgery. So um, about three weeks after I had him, I started getting these bouts of pain. The first one like brought tears to my eyes. Um, it was just a very intense pain, but it was... It was not very long. It lasted maybe like 20 minutes. And the next one, the next night, lasted about 20 minutes. The next one, the following night, lasted an hour and a half and was like five times as worse. It was terrible. So I was like, the only words I can use to describe it is that I was writhing in pain. I had to get my husband up um, out of bed to make sure little guy was cared for because it was nighttime. Um, and he was needing somebody. My little guy was needing somebody. Um, and I just, uh, I, I could not focus on him. Like, I wanted to with all my being focus on my little guy. But this pain was just all-encompassing. Like, terrible. Like, just, I was on the floor at some points just trying to find any way to find some relief. <laughs> so, I've got little guy to sleep. Hopefully he'll stay asleep. <laughs> Anyways, um, I had the, just the worst pain. It was terrible. It was awful. It was just completely horrendous. Um, and so we were debating and we couldn't figure out what it could be. Um, we had thought maybe kidney stones. We had thought some other things. Um, but the weird thing was is that it would just go away. And so um, it actually went away for two weeks. And um, I had tried to call my OBGYN at the time she apparently never got the message um, so she didn't get back with me but then it went away for two weeks so I didn't I didn't know if it was just like a one-time thing I when I called the OBGYN place the um, medical assistant had said well you know when you breastfeed like sometimes you can have cramps and things like that um, and maybe that's it and so when it went away for two weeks I just didn't worry about it. then it came back and I was like oh no um, while well, the little pains, like the, the 20 minute pains are doable, I mean they're still terrible, but they're nothing like that one hour, one and a half hour pains. Um, I was nervous that another one would come back and that it would come back sometime when my hubby wasn't here and things like that. So, or that it was something super serious because, I mean, pains like that are not normal, you know what I mean? So, um, let's see if I can put this in my tray. Okay, little guy's asleep, trying to escape his swaddle. Um, we will see. I'm going to try to lay him down. That's why he's swaddled. But he tries to escape all the time. So um, I'm usually nearby him in the afternoon naps, like within an arm's reach or, or, or watching him very closely. So I'm not going to reset it right now. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, since I didn't hear back from my OBGYN, at that time because she never got the message um, we decided it was time for me to go ahead and get a primary care doctor which is something that had been on the like long-term list for a long time um, thankfully I was super shocked someone was able to get me in within like two days and even more shocking um, even though she was just like the random person who was open in that practice um, she was amazing so um, I just I loved her personality I loved her kindness um, and like I kept saying, like, to me, the symptoms felt crazy. Like, that they came and gone, that they were, like, so intense, that, like, all this happened soon after I had a baby. It just felt crazy. And uh, so I kept saying, like, and I know that sounds crazy, but this is exactly what it is. And, um, like, the pain would start in my back. It would, like, go around um, my belly like an inner tube, go up through my shoulders. Um, i get nauseous and a stomach ache at the same time. And it all just sounds crazy to me, even telling you guys that now. The first thing she said after I went through this whole story and she like listened to me through the whole thing, <laughs> um, 
she said, well, first off, I don't think you're crazy. And I just thought that that was like the best answer she could have given, even though that wasn't what I was like looking for. Um, and uh, she said, I think that um, your husband may be right, that it might be kidney stones. She said, but I, my guess is, is that it's gallstones. And so she ran some labs and uh, my liver enzymes are slightly elevated, which um, is not really like a huge concern right now, but would be if it continued to elevate. It was also a sign that uh, it might be my gallbladder. So she called me in some tests. I had to go to the hospital, unfortunately, to get those tests done. But those tests did confirm that she was correct, that I have gallstones and decreased gallbladder function. And um, that's likely the cause of all the issues. And as I read up more on gallbladder issues, um, that is something that does happen after pregnancy a lot um, because um, of the hormones in your body. So there's that. Um, it's not unusual. And the more I talk to people um, about it, I, the more I realize that a lot of people, a lot of women especially that in my circle like have dealt with this. Um, not always after children, but <laughs> just in general. Um, and uh, yeah, that it can cause like shoulder pain um, and all these other things that I thought was just like the weirdest symptoms. So um, I met with a surgeon and he said it could really go either way. But like I said, my little guy's still little. And even though it is gonna be laparoscopic surgery and I should be able, God willing, to be home same day, um, you know, the smaller like I have to pick him up I'm a stay-at-home mom you know it's not gonna be any options so much better now than when he's several months down the road and a much bigger boy so um, yeah that's that's what's on the ticket for next week thankfully um, my hubby uh, was able to get some time off of work to help care for me <laughs> um, which I'm so grateful for he has just uh, been such a trooper through all of this you know um, and I'm, I'm so thankful that his work has been he's been able to work with his work as far as um, switching his hours for appointments and um, somebody trying to wake up probably shouldn't be talking um, all right I'm just gonna finish up real quick so I'm so thankful that his work has been allowing him to sort of work around his hours because um, right now we just we don't have a lot of options for child care um, with the little guy as little as this and then also just with everything going on in the world um, he's needed to take off a lot to take care of the kids uh, and then now he has me to, to take care of on top of it all and oh, really the kids for me but uh, me too <laughs> and uh, just he's been a trooper never complaining about any of it and I'm so thankful for him um, so I uh, I better go so this little guy will get some sound sleep um, while well, we have a little bit of the class left and um, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so I'm trying to lay up this new guy now just a little long enough that I can make dinner. Okay, so he's over there helping him. Um, so hopefully I can get this at least cooking before it gets in. We're gonna have some Parmesan encrusted tilapia, uh, some little fried red potatoes. If I can get that far. Let's see if we can at least get the oven preheated. This is the hardest part about parenting, I think. Um, it's going to be with a little nudity bag is that it's so hard to get the dinner ready. Um, I do even do, I even been doing, okay, that's enough. Okay. Um, I've even been doing a little bit of meal prep when I can, but even that's really hard to do. So. Um, so when it happens, it happens, but um, my hubby has been, he has to take a shower since he works at the hospital, well, not that he wouldn't anyways, but um, he used to not take a shower when he first came home if he wasn't in patient rooms, but now he always takes a shower when he gets home. By the time he does that, 
Um, we're an early to bed family here for several different reasons. Um, it's just best for all of us. And so, um, if Tommy does that, if I don't, if I have to pass over the little guy to make the entire dinner, then, I mean, it's almost bedtime by the time we have dinner. So I at least like to have stuff in the process as he showers and then sometimes he'll put together the plates or I'll put together the plates or whatever. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, I have these little red potatoes that I cut up while we had a happy moment with the little guy earlier. Um, I made some of these yesterday. We made shrimp boil for, um, there we go. We made shrimp boil for Father's Day. I made it um, in the oven. I guess it was a shrimp bake. Um, but it was like a shrimp boil with potatoes and corn and shrimp and sausage and it was delicious. Um, and I had extra potatoes left over so um, I cooked, I, ooh, mercy. So I boiled the rest of them and um, I sliced them up yesterday, some of them, put them in the air fryer and they were delicious. Um, so definitely going to do that again in the future. We have solid stuff left over so we'll have that with it. I gotta go. Are already eating dinner and and we are that that and my plate still look neat. Mama did it. Fortunately, so I'm on walk number two for the day. The little guy is just having a rough rest today, and uh, hoping this walk will put him out. So hopefully the rest of the night is good. Um, so hopefully the rest of the night is good. It's not always nice when um, he has that broken sleep like this. So that is what I'm up to now. This little gal stayed home with her daddy to have some fun playtime. I think they are playing Floor is Lava, <laughs> um, which is one of our new favorite family shows. So that's exciting. All right, I will enjoy this nice walk. <laughs> Rejoice in the world always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. You. Philippians. Philippians 4 4. Okay, so it is bedtime here. Um, I wanted to come in and close up the vlog. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I know uh, we don't necessarily live the most exciting life, but I know. Um, that I have really benefited from being able to have a peek inside the lives of other moms and other people um, and just seeing how they live so this is what it looks like in our life right now with um, a two-month-old and a five-year-old and uh, just spending quite a bit of time at home and enjoying that so um, I hope you all enjoyed joining us if you'd like to see more about our lives please be sure to hit the subscribe button we will have more videos in the future and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.